Well, hi everyone. It is a cold uh, December weekend here at uh, PDX Garden Home and uh, what I'm working on behind me here, I've already done a lot of cleanup here, but this is um, kind of this cool area that was already here when I bought the house and um, I did a little remodeling myself of the bathroom inside the house, one of the bathrooms and um, you know, it was an old school bathroom and it had, I pulled that vanity out of, the, out of that bathroom and then I, I hung it up here with the outdoor sink that was already here. Um, put a couple shelves over here to, to do things and I've really enjoyed being able to use this area. But um, I don't know how, lo how old this area is, kind of the underlying, um, kind of the, the bench here and then the sink that was here, but it's, it's, it's in quite a bit of disrepair. The sink is like permanently stopped up. The bench itself is kind of sagging now. The wood's kind of rotted out. Um, so I've, I've known that I wanted to come out here and basically rebuild this or replace this. But what I actually want to do, I've kind of got the, a pretty grand vision for this area because what I'd like to do is um, create a pergola, a pergola that is uh, attached to this um, shed here and uh, and then kind of build uh, rebuild the pot the potting bench here and then maybe build it on a, another side in front of me right here as well um, all underneath this pergola and and it's probably not even right to call it a pergola because I'm going to put um, I'm going to put kind of a a roof on it or I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do the roof I don't know if I'm going to do kind of a standard pergola roof with something that can kind of cover it um, or if I'm just going to go ahead and start you know right out of the gate cover it with something maybe uh, maybe some kind of plexi plexiglass or polycarbonate kind of roofing or something like that so the, the light can come through um, because then in the winter you know the light the light could come through but I would have kind of a place out of the rain to, to kind of stand and, and still kind of do little do little things outside and then really the thing that I'm um, hoping I might be able to use this area for during the summer is um, you know put shade cloth or put some kind of curtain over that pergola that comes out here so that um, I have a shady area to actually plant seeds because one of the challenges that I've had is planting seeds in um, late June, early July for fall and winter. Uh, I found that I can't really do that in the greenhouse because the greenhouse is too hot so it'll fry all those little seedlings that I'm trying to create for a fall and winter garden. So I feel like I never have enough um, enough starts uh, to go into my fall and winter garden when it comes around into putting those into the ground, say late August or September, October-ish. Um, well, I'd say not October-ish, maybe more like, but you can tell I don't even know that much about it because I haven't ever had enough starts to really do it in a serious way. And you know, one of the things I've noticed about garden nurseries around here, and I, I think it's probably true, uh, other, I bet it's true other places, but you really don't get a lot. There's not, there, there's almost no like, um, starts or seedlings that you can buy uh, kind of in the late summer for fall the way that you can do that in the spring for the main season. So uh, garden nurseries, you know, they cater to the majority of people. And I think majority of people when they garden don't think about fall and winter gardening. So there's probably not enough demand on those retail uh, organizations to really have a lot of starts. And so, um, you know, I've, I've assumed and found that I kind of have to grow my own starts for fall and winter because you you know which I would do anyway I grow my own starts anyway even in spring for the main garden but but yeah but even you know for the last couple of years last few years I've missed the growing window because they would get fried and then I would go out and try to buy already kind of established starts and there's no they're nowhere to be found so there there is no like do over you ha I have to I have to like do it myself and get them get those ready so anyway that's all one big thing back to saying I'm looking forward to creating an area here that can be uh, that can protect from the rain in the winter and also be shady in the summer for potentially doing um, uh, starts that are uh, kept out of the harshest sun uh, and for the purpose of planting out in the, the fall and winter um, I mean I've got a lot of goals for this area right so that's one goal obviously I, I want to be able to use this area the way I have before um, kind of as an outdoor potting bench and um, you know maybe have more shelves there and kind of some tool storage uh, maybe some uh, tray and uh, cell tray and pot storage because it's like it seems like there's never enough storage for garden stuff I mean I've got garden stuff coming out of my ears I have the potting shed which is reasonably good size and 
really, if I wasn't just crazy, it probably should be enough for me. You know, there's storage in there for all my pots and seed trays and everything, but it's totally crammed full. So if I had any more, which it seems like I always want to have more of something, uh, there would be nowhere to put it. So, so that's another goal of this area and kind of rebuilding the sink area and uh, getting that to work nicely. I'm guessing that there's some kind of like pit or cistern underneath the sink area here where the water kind of would just drain down into. And so I might redo that in a different way where the water is draining into some kind of barrel or something that I can then uh, use the water can to grab that water and use it to water plants and stuff. So we're recycling water as much as possible. So lots of cool goals with this project. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna, it's a fun project for me and um, we'll see, we'll see where I go with it. Well, another day and uh, still uh, this weekend is not particularly exciting from a video standpoint because I'm just taking my sweet time at demoing this area back here that I was uh, just talking about. Um, and you may not, I'm wearing the same outfit, so you may not know that it is a different day, but I was just talking about this yesterday. So um, anyway, that's kind of the main thing on my agenda. I'm also spreading compost, but I've showed you that many on many times. So no reason to bore you with more compost spreading. Um, I do have some broccoli in the garden, so um, I may take some close-up videos to kind of show you to show you that um, just before I go in and harvest it. But otherwise, um, not too much going on. I would say that, you know, for the coming week here, December, um, it's more compost spreading, and then um, this will be demoed probably after today and I'll be taking measurements and everything for working on my pergola project. So um, that might be more exciting to show you when I have parts of that kind of done or, or put in. You can laugh at me as I make some mistakes and how I probably do that. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I have to say at this point. So this is the garden beds here uh, in December. The ones in the back have, uh, have uh, garlic planted. And then I've got beets, the next one over. And then the bed that we're gonna be looking at here is um, still some leftover brassicas. Um, in fact, let's see right here, as an example, this is some uh, some kohlrabi um, and while it's leafed out there the purple kohlrabi is nowhere close to producing a bulb so at this point I wouldn't think I get a bulb until um, until the Sun picks back up maybe February March of next year Let's move along here this is the broccoli bed here and you can see there's a few um, broccoli florets in there that I'll come along and pick and harvest um, you know not 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 a ton of stuff but you know still for December in Portland to get any kind of harvest is kind of cool particularly outdoors I mean this is not in a greenhouse or any kind of uh, cover so um, yeah there's another another guy there so yeah that's the these things have been here all season. They, they were planted back in early spring and I've just been picking these little heads from them all season and I guess I'll continue doing that up, and, up through next spring. Maybe we'll see if I can perennialize them and just keep doing that. Um, yeah.